Let's get into Lightroom right now. I'm going to show you how I edit my exterior photos. We're just going to do one and uh, how the process is and what you can do to speed up your workflow. So here we go. Okay, so here's the exterior photo. And what I typically do is just making sure when I'm on site that I do not clip my highlights. You gotta watch your histogram, watch your meter, making sure that those highlights aren't getting clipped because if they do, you're not gonna bring back any of the sky. So if you watch, if I bring down the highlights right here, we were able to pull that sky back in. That looks really good. And let's bump those shadows. This is really all I do. And I'm bringing my black slider down a little bit here. Now, if you want to make sure that you're not clipping your blacks or your whites, up here, these little triangles, you can just hover over them, and the, they're going to show blue right there. Now, watch. If I bring this exposure up, see, you're going to see, like, uh, the white or the red means that you're clipping the highlights, and the blue means you're clipping your blacks. So... I really don't like to have those on. Another method you can do this quickly is take your black slider and hold down Option if you're on a Mac and start sliding that. And now if it gets all the way black, that means you've totally clipped them. So, yes, they're going to be clipped in certain areas of the, the image. I don't personally care about that. It gives it contrast. It gives it uh, some... I love deep contrast images. And this one could use a boost in vibrance because in my camera settings, I turn all that stuff down. You know, I like to be able to control that in post. That's just another tip. Sharpness, all that stuff, all the way down in your camera. Do it in post. And honestly, once you have created a setting here like this, you can come up here to this little plus set where the presets are, create preset, give it a name, and then hit create, and then you can just hit this. So let me just reset this right quick. I've already done one, what I call it, exterior main. I can have a couple of them. Exterior real estate. Yeah, looks a little different than the one we just did, probably because my white balance is off on this image. And again, they're they're just going to be a starting point, many of these, because you're going to base them off one image that you did, you know, however long ago, and it's going to be different than this. But typically, that way you're not going to have to run through all these sliders. So, and it just makes your workflow a lot faster. Make sure too, though, here's another tip, is right click, set flag, and click flagged, and then move on to your next image. Because when, remember, once you get into the interior photos, you're gonna be dumping those, the ambient and the flash layer using your blended layer that you use in Photoshop, and then you wanna flag that. That way you just come over here to filter, hit filters, and then click on flagged. It's gonna give you all the flagged images that you have saved, and then you're gonna click on the last one, and then hold down shift, and click on the first one. That's when you right click up here to export, and then export, and that way you're bulk exporting. It's gonna make your workflow a lot faster, because remember, you wanna be fast on site, fast in the editing room, and remember, are you wasting time? You're wasting money. So, again, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.